Question. What do you do if you need or want to carry your sidearm in a situation where it's not very practical at all? What do we do, guys and gals? Well, we do what we always do. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Let's go. Today we're talking about pistol carrying, specifically in the context of you want to go out and do something, maybe some activity, running, working out, and you don't want to go out looking like Rambo. Now, if you know me, I'm a big proponent of fitness, especially when we're talking about preparedness. As I always say, you should train with your gear. You should run with it. You should ruck with it. You should do ups and downs, three to five second rushes. If you have a range where you can actually maneuver on that range at far distances, that's what we call stress fire. That's all good. But sometimes you may not be able to go out like this and run around with guns. I mean, I guess you could. If you're in a constitutional carry state and you want to do some sprints through the suburbs with a friggin' AR and chest rig on you, it's legal. I don't know if it's wise, but you could do it. Let's say I'm doing some sprints or some long endurance runs. Yes, those are still good for you. No matter what all the fat meatheads say, you should still move your butt. So let's say I wanna go out and do that, but I still wanna carry. What do I do? Well, you can't just go running down the street with a pistol in your hand. Again, in a constitutional carry state, that's probably legal. It's gonna throw up some red flags to a lot of people, especially the authorities. It's not good! Chances are, if you're doing sprints and maybe some long distance running, you're gonna wanna be in tennis shoes and shorts, probably a t-shirt. So unless you wanna wear a battle belt with all that, and once again, that's gonna throw up some red flags in your neighborhood, you're gonna have to go with something else. Enter the belly band, what everybody's calling a belly band. This one is called a Bravo belt. So we're not endorsing anything today. This was not given to me. This is just an example product. So look for anything similar to this. First off, I'll tell you guys, my first problem with this model is it is a snap. So if you're going to get one, I highly recommend you get a magnet. Some of these have very strong magnets on them. So that assists in getting one finger up there for your draw, getting that strap out of the way, and then drawing. You see how I have to kind of screw with it with a snap. Very strong magnets would be a lot more dependable than a rinky dinky little snap. I also have three mag pouches on here. You can take one or two of them off. You can take them all but one. Then you have a magazine in your pistol and you got an extra one. All good stuff. So let's take the Rambo rig off and show you what we're looking at. I put it on without the gun in it for obvious reasons. Get it half naked for the YouTube audience. All these belts are going to come in different sizes, shapes, and forms. Pick whatever you want. My suggestion is get that thing snug on there, like what the meatheads do in the gym with their core belts. You're going to have to figure out what is best for you to carry your pistol. And of course, they fit different types of pistols. Some of them you can get a model where the pistol is removable from the belt, so you can just move that around. So if you are a skinny dude, kind of strange, right? Now I came across this product because some women had written me saying, hey, I wanna go out in my leggings or my, my booty shorts and go for a run, or I would just wanna go to the mall in leggings. I don't wanna have to wear a gun belt or a holster. Randall, what can I do about that? So I started searching around, see what a lot of the ladies are out there carrying, and boom, perfect. So a lot of the ladies in their leggings and running shorts, they'll still wear a big old loose shirt. And so if you got a loose shirt on, you're good to go, man. Especially the ladies, you have other objects up here for the most part. This video is Disney approved. <laughs> and we're gonna rotate this. Now, how we like it now, a little better. These magazine pouches can go where you want, right there. Ain't coming off, ain't going nowhere, ain't in my way. So I can go for a run. You guys see a gun on me? Might see something every now and then, but again, skinny dude, it's a little harder to pull off. Ladies with a loose shirt, boom, man. You're freaking working out. Nothing's falling out. Nothing's bouncing all over the place. Good to go, man. Nice and comfortable. If you find this is uncomfortable, you could always wear one of those light spandex athletic shirts underneath and then it's not right up against your skin. I have done a couple runs so far out here in 100 degree temps and even after 30 minutes, yeah, you get some extra sweat. 
that's obvious, but it's not terribly uncomfortable. It's no more uncomfortable than if I didn't have it and I needed it. Now, when we're gonna draw, you have to have two hands. You've gotta get your shirt out of the way, you've gotta get that out of the way, and then you have to draw. It actually comes out extremely easy, and if you are locked and loaded, which you should be, you got one in the chamber, and you should, you have to be very careful how you reholster that. But everyday carry, we know when you put your gun back in there, you always watch that reholster all the way in. So drawing, not terrible, but you can get your gun out. And you guys remember, what do we do with every new piece of gear we get, especially when we have to learn new steps and everything? We go out and we freaking train with it. Train, train, train. No matter what you have, no matter how comfortable or how proficient you think you are, you better be freaking training. So in the event you need to draw, you are ready to draw. So something that holds your pistol comfortably, it's safe and reliable, and you could carry three more magazines on there. Guys and gals, you should not pass something like this up. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned something. See you in the next video. Out.